part three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Enough of that silliness. Use the, the elevator. Cruise quarters. Let's go talk. To, wait. Alright. It tells you who's where. So we have Jacob on that floor and Miranda on this one. Let's go talk to Miranda. Miranda, yes, yes. I actually think Miranda's kind of interesting, to be honest. In more ways than what you're thinking of. Unless you're not thinking of that, then not that way. But in the other way. That makes sense, right? I hope it does. Oh man, these loading screens are gonna piss me off. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Man, oh man. Man, 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 man. Man. I wonder... No, I probably couldn't free up any CPU. I doubt I have anything really major except fraps and steam. But I kind of need Steam Active to play Mass Effect. Kind of a problem, isn't it? Mm-hmm. This is annoying, actually. This has been going on for about a minute. Oh, good lord. Can this just finish up lo- How- Is it even loading? Hello? Computer? Load the game, please. Please load the game. Come on. You're not even loading, are you? Well, it's still animations going. But I can't really... It doesn't really sound like it's loading. Like, I would hear it doing something. But I don't. Oh, good lord, that took... it. That, that literally took a minute and a half to load. <laughs> that, is, that is ridiculous. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. It's ridiculous. The women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Hey. Port observation, life support, uh, starboard observation. Those will all be unlocked later when we get more characters. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canaan. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Be to Don't say that. Oh my god. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. It's such a Jesus, that is a depressing thing to say. Oh my god. What the hell is wrong with you, woman? Good lord. I wouldn't want to think about that if I was him. Ooh, who are you? I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. We get a quest from him. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be a service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No. I won't take any more of your time. I just want Back the quest work. for experience and such. Battery. Where is this battery? Battery. 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 Oh, the door. Right. And guess who that is? If you don't know, I'm not saying. Hey, it's Dr. Shawcross. We never talked to you in the first game. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. Even though I never I talked to you. I wish more of the original crew could be here. 
The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? Yeah, I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Not really. The only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive. And we have much larger concerns ahead. Yeah, I will. I'll see you later, Doctor. For the quest, Come on, experience, etc. And AI core is that we get way later in the game, actually. Did we talk to Miranda? No, we did not. She is over here somewhere. Here, this room. Miranda's office. That would be where Miranda is, yes. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Consequences will Everyone never be the same. A lot from someone with my abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks. I agree with that. All designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Okay. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Get her quest eventually. Every crew member has a quest that you have to do at some point if you want to successfully beat the game correctly in the best possible way. Which I would like to do. Oh god, this is going to take another two minutes to load, isn't it? <sighs> Jesus. I might just cut out the loading screen so you guys don't have to deal with them, but I have to deal with them. Yeah. Always lots of fun to be staring at a loading screen for an entire goddamn minute. Oh, Jesus. And this is ridiculous beyond belief. Does that proportion even make sense? I mean, the second to third floor proportion, does that even make any sense at all? Does it? Hmm. I'm not sure if it does. Because that seems kind of big for the second floor. And then it makes me think that this ship is really small. But it's not small. It's big, but it seems small. So I'm so confused at the current moment, and this has been going on for 40 seconds already. <sighs> I really don't know what to say. There's nothing really I can make fun of here, so... Um... Yeah. It really is. It's just a loading screen that's been going on for a minute. Wonderful. Mm hmm. I'm gonna need something to do for all these loading screens. Um, do I have anything to do? <laughs> just read scriptures from the Bible, obviously. Why do I even have a Bible in my room? I'm not religious took a minute and a half, that's always fun. This area of this I didn't ask to talk to you. That's all for now. Yeah. You out, Bitch. These are all the weapons we have unlocked, and as you go through the game, more of them will be on the tables and stuff. Like a, that's not one of the tables, but like over here you'll get more tables. You'll get more tables, get more items. Lord. Jacob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a 
privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suit you? It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. That's a huge black guy smile. To Renegade. To Paragon. Why? Who knows? And who really cares? Ooh, have I talked to Sh I don't think I've talked to Joker yet, have I? He does not like Eddie. Controls? Where are these controls that I can examine for experience? Where are they? Oh, right here. I'm gonna get that achievement. Cause I am an achievement Do you whore. believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! <laughs> Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I like the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship camp. <laughs> I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? Ah, uh, good old Joker. Okay. Let's go do something. Something more than spending 12 minutes doing nothing except wandering around in the ship. Which I'm sure will happen many times in this series. I'm sure I'll do the rather Maybe long series. No. Crestal? Kestrel armor? Okay then, I don't really care. There's more armor. Wait, Kestrel? I've never. Son of a bitch, I'm already out of there though. I already left the place. Ooh, here's the map. How do I control? That's how I control. Can I control with the arrow keys? No, I cannot. I have to drag it. Wonderful. So, this is the new map, as you can see. And it, the only way to get out to, like, uh, the, the galaxy area, plot mass relay jump, and that's how you get to it. And then you can obviously... It's very nice, because it actually tells you where all your quests are, as you can see, right here. Rec recruit the convict, like, five of them. Investigate Project Overlord. It also tells you where the Citadel and Omega are. It's pretty useful, I have to say. Um, I think for the sake of experience, we're going to do Explore Normandy Crash Site. It's a fairly simple DLC that's just sort of like... Oh, uh, right. Fuel Depot. No, Fuel Depot. Fuel, fill my fuel tank, please. Thank you, kind sir. Probably should fill filled probes too. There we go. Because I already have a nice amount of money, so whatever. Where is this? Normandy crash site. And this uses fuel, as you can see it right down there. So you want to take the shortest possible paths, even though there wasn't fuel in the first game. So why would you make it difficult like this? Ugh. Whatever. And of course we can explore the other planets, go and like we don't go go controls are kind of awkward, to be honest. How much stuff does this, does this have? Moderate. Can I? How do I? Okay. Gotcha. No, I did not want to... These controls, I swear to god. Enter orbit. Start the scanner. Good. Really. And this is the incredibly obnoxious way of getting resources. Research projects. Upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and this is how you do it. You gotta drag the scanner around the fucking planet and look for shit. And often there's barely anything. Whoa. Oh, damn. Research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Pretty sure this is this was the dumbest idea they had for this game. Let's be honest. Out of all the ideas I hated for this game, this was the dumbest. I'm 
pretty sure a lot of people agree with me on the whole this is a dumb idea. Cause it's just annoying as hell, it's slow, it's just god awful. I don't know why you would make it. Really the only way to make it go fast is to go like this, but you could easily miss stuff. I'm still wasting time doing this, so why am I still doing this? I don't even know. Sometimes planets will have missions on them, so sometimes it's a good idea to enter orbit and stuff. Moderate, no thanks. I'm not even gonna bother, actually. There's really no point. Right, right click doesn't do anything. I need to remember that. Enter orbit. Start scanner. Moderate, no thanks. I'm sure eventually I'll have to go through that. As you can see, 80% means how many planet, what percentage of the planets I've been to, and I'll tell you how much you've explored each section of the galaxy. You know, when it says anomaly detected, then you can start a mission. Rich, really? Whoa, there are a lot of resources like right here. Good lord, look at that. It's actually beautiful. Alright, the white white line on your radar thing tells you where an anomaly is. Aha! There we go. Right there. Launching probe. Something on our sensors. Scans confirm the wreckage of SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity de detected. Stable landing zone located amid the crash site. Let's do this. I'm pretty sure this DLC was really just so you can see the Normandy, because I'm pretty sure people wanted that, and also for like, if you were really a fan of the first Normandy and you spent a lot of time in the first game like I did, it's, it was kind of an emotional experience the first time, and it sounds incredibly stupid. Actually, yeah, that was incredibly stupid, but you, you need, some of you must know what I mean. You know, it's kind of that thing, you know what I'm saying? Two minute loading screens, you know what I'm saying? Love that stuff. Totally love it. <sighs> oh, that was not as nearly as long. Let's see, this, this DLC is really dramatic. Because it's only Shepard, and it's in a place where there's no enemies. Just, just you and the Normandy remains. And all you do is find dog tags, and just really, really sad, I guess, with my night dragon armor. Beastly. Look at that, that's sweet as hell. I really should wear armor that you can actually see my character's face. I wish you could customize this armor to remove the helmet, but whatever. I don't need my weapon out. How do I put this away? I've forgotten. Q. Right. I switched the controls, didn't I? So all we're supposed to do is find dog tags, such as this one. I can't remember how many there are. Yeah, you get 10 experience from each one. You get 20. 20 of them. So you get 200 experience total. This is... Oh, right. You can place the monument to the uh, Normandy. Where is this dog tag? I'm not actually seeing it, but it's obviously here. Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> oh shit, dude. I'm pretty sure they took pictures directly from uh, Mass Effect 1. Because that, that, that graphics level there did not look exactly as good as this game's graphic level. I'll place the monument somewhere else. It's the Mako! Fragile crate. Really? I'm not gonna waste bullets on crates. Mina Waburi? Oh shit. I miss the Mako. Even with its shitty ass controls. Of a drunken elephant on an icy mountaintop. And there's the beautiful, beautiful monument.
don't know how the hell she was carrying that. I guess she has Pokemon. Pokeballs. Whatever. And this this DLC can get annoying if you like miss one of the things, but other than that it's not too bad. It's really more of a personal experience. But I sound so poetic and sappy when I'm talking about this DLC. Honest to God. Whoa, okay. Refined Elements... There's also a few other things, like Refined Elements Zero. Which are useful for later. I just realized that Element Zero doesn't have any electrons. Shit doesn't make sense. If you looked at the picture there, it had the atomic number of zero. That doesn't... That, what? So it's just neutrons? What the fuck? doesn't make any scientific sense. Oh, damn, dude. Damn. I just realized there are only eight sleeping pods in that entire ship of, like, what, 40 people? That's gotta suck. <laughs> There's another dog tank. Yeah, there it is. You don't know who the hell who the hell any of these people are, but it really doesn't matter. Are you serious? Dog tag. Is there anything over there? No. Luckily the dog tags are shiny from a distance. Robert Falawa? Huh. Ooh, dog tag. Gimme, 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 gimme. Helen M. Lowe. Oh, man. This. This. Okay. Not exactly sure what part of the ship that was, but whatever. It's cool. Whose dog tag is this? Alexei Dubayansky. I'm, I'm surprised there's no skeletons. You think there'd be like skeletons or something? Unless there's actually animals on this planet and they took them. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh well. Do I see refined element zero? There it is. I see you. Gimme. You. Yeah, did you see that element zero has an atomic number of zero, so it has zero protons and zero electrons. What the hell? Whoa. I remember looking at, at that for experience. Abhishek Pakti? Must be an Arab. Uh, that's racist. Um, crap, where did I... what did I miss? Oh, I did not go this way, did I? Yeah, I went that way, because I went to the Mako. So there must be some over here. Huh? What is that for find element zero? I don't know. Carlton Tux. Oh, there it is. I see you. <laughs> Somehow opened it from down here. Oh, or up there. That's cool. Where was that dog tag? There was another one, I think, over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Almost done. Just five to get. N7 helmet! Gimme. I want the N7 helmet. Ooh, another dog tag. Now I know where that one Oh, is more. Let me get the N7 helmet first, please. I mean, really. Goodness. Making me rush. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. I believe that goes in Shepard's cabin. That you can look at. Oh, the galaxy map that was always so glitchy that if you stood slightly too close to it, you couldn't use it. Fix that in this game, obviously. Kind of obnoxious. Data pad. Let's move to commanders about this. All these damned aliens will the alliance most advanced ship, but just don't trust them. A damned Asari. An Aquarian. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? 
with the Quarian. It seems, it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. Uh, <laughs> babysit my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. For a while now, I'm taking a for a while now, and I'm taking a look back at the past entries in this journal. How blind I was at this time. I came on this ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. <laughs> Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there was no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I am proud to die for any member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. Oh, Navigator Presley. You were never important in the story. And we're just not gonna take it? Okay. Just gonna leave it here. Another dog tag. Harvey J. Gladstone. Gladstone? That's the name of a crack.com article writer. Crosby. Oh, son of a bitch, I've been here. What did I miss? That means I missed two of them, but I don't know where the hell I missed them. Oh, god damn it, this is bad. Oh, there's one. Okay, I need to find one more. Gimme. So, Caroline Granado, there's one more dog tag that I totally missed. Totally freaking missed. I have no idea where the hell it is. Um, this is bad. Very bad. Very, very, very bad. I mean, this isn't exactly the widest map ever, but... Okay, don't take out your gun. But still, it's just... It is kind of blending in, the environments are kind of blending in with each other, so it's kind of hard to tell where I've been and where I haven't. So where is this last one? Ah, damn it. Hey, that guy's playing another Bioware game. Cool story, bro. <gasps> Dog tag! Right here! Yes! Go, got all the dog tags. Madeira Raman. I did it before 30 minutes was over. And now we must leave. And never come back to the Normandy. SR1. kinda hoping to record a 20 minute video, but obviously that didn't work out, so. A monument has been placed to the last resting place of the SSV Normandy on Alchera, and the families of all missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. After two years, would the families just not know what happened? Because that's kinda sad. 200 experience, 3,750 credits, not that much actually. 385 element zero though. And a close report. So, see, that was one of the free DLCs that Bioware gave out, like, a month after the game was released or something like that. You know, it was, it was a nice DLC when it first came out. And that's really all that it was. That's all that was to it. And, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> so one mission done. One out of the many that there are available in this game. And we're in another two minute long loading screen, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna cut out right right after this. Or something. Probably not. I'm probably just gonna be too lazy to edit out and I'll probably just render it new in Vegas Pro or some shit like that. I don't know. To make sure that the footage isn't too big. Like my dick. It's a Twitter account. I don't think I still tweet anymore how big my dick, that's like some, like my big dick or something, I don't know, they make a bunch of dick jokes, it's hilarious, but I think they stopped tweeting a while ago. Kind of made me sad. It's like, it's like if goddamn Batman stopped tweeting. If you don't know who that is, go look him up on Twitter, he's hilarious. Um, yeah, these loading screens are annoying. 
annoyingly long. Good lord. Well, let's look at the Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I figured. Crash site site data. The Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you've provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. Alright. Well, that's enough for this video. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Wait. Level up. Uh, 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 I want to unlock everything, so let's just get pull and throw upgraded. Okay, that's enough for this video. See you guys later.